All right, so today we've got a bit of a different video. Today we're going to be going over phase two of the Blades of Persia event. Again, for this event, Ubisoft did hook me up with early access so I could access things early. And the whole thing is pretty cool and I appreciate Ubi for doing this for me. Now, that being said, this video is also sponsored by Ubisoft. Now, we've all been playing through Blades of Persia and by now you should have at least played the event mode at least for a little while because it's a lot of fun and is an interesting change of pace from regular old dominion i recommend playing it while you can because it is about to be replaced with another game mode for phase two which also has a lot to offer and while the blaze of persia event is going on right now this mode isn't available until tomorrow so in this video i just want to spend some time talking about phase two now let's not waste any more time and get right into it. All right, so this mode is called Wraith of Time, and it's somewhat similar to the previous event mode where you'll play a spin on Dominion. You'll play regular Dominion on the Altered Harbor map, but this time it's at night. And you'll play for a little while until the Prince comes barreling down. This time he's taken on a darker form known as the Dark Prince, and he'll still try to knock down anyone who he comes in contact with. It doesn't matter if they're attackers or defenders. If you eliminate him, you'll gain points, just like before, but the twist on this twist is that when the prince is taken out, he'll drop his dagger for either team to pick up. It doesn't matter who kills him. The dagger grants the wielder a set of four feats, the feats that the prince has, which is pretty cool. You'll get access to his teleporting superman punch, the ability to slow down time around you, the spears of fate, and the ability to revive after your health has been depleted, just like the prince. You don't get all of the prince's abilities like the hyper armor on just about everything or the strength buff. You'll also get a limited health bar just like in previous modes where you got to wield a special weapon. This did take me by surprise because after I saw the trailer I was saying to myself oh it's just going to be you know like the hammer we got when we played in the Ragnarok events but instead we get to play around with some really fun feats. I only got to play with Marco Yolo, Freeze, and Luiabu with bots and not against real people and it was fun with bots so I know playing with actual players is going to be a blast. Now Marco mentioned that he wanted to see Shigoki in a mankini with all the sand around for beach day and all I wanted was unmasked Valk and female Aramusha but further down on that list I've mentioned that I've wanted effects to be active when we popped revenge and when you pick up this blade you get this amazing looking effect that is just amplified by its surroundings. The nighttime map with all the sand, sandy colors, and gold just make this effect that you have while wielding this blade look really good. I really like the trail that flows off your hero's body as they move around. I like that the mask is on. Hell, I even like the effect that goes on while the prince is respawning to take his power back. I think it all looks really good, and I mean, we've seen it twice now with this and the glowing eyes while boosted with the breach placeholder. So when it comes to cosmetics, this is now at the top of my priority list. I really want to see our idle or active or execution effects on when we pop revenge. Anyways, the new event mode, Wraith of Time, is a good time. I had a lot of fun with it. It was enjoyable having those feats to use. I'd say I had as much fun uh, as throwing around the hammer during the honor game, so be sure to hop in. I know I saw about three comments last time that said that the saws that cover the walls aren't as cool as the pitfall, but I agree with y'all. I like the saws on the walls a little more than the pitfall because while it's not technically a one shot, you can do pretty cool things with it. And plus, I like the sound. Also, there is still time to level up your free battle pass for the event. I'm sure there are plenty of people who already unlocked everything, but if you haven't yet, you've still got plenty of time. And you rank up by just playing the game. You don't need to play the event to earn battle pass points or anything like that. If you're short on time or just don't feel like grinding, you can still purchase tiers in the battle pass with steel and this goes towards your free event pass as well as your free battle pass and if you own it it goes towards your premium pass as well which also gives you a boost to your points also keep in mind that the stuff that was in the shop last week is still in the shop this week this includes the blade of fate execution and the two new illustrious outfits ratasha's army and my favorite sand race servant so be sure to grab those while you still can. And finally, the weapons. I didn't say much about the weapons last time, but every hero in the game got new weapons and you loot these the same way you always have. 
you'll finish a match and then just loot them from the battlefield. You won't earn these in the event pass like some of the other loot in this event. So you can't just hop on, buy everything in the pass and hop off. You do have to play to earn the weapons for your favorite heroes. I like a whole lot of these, especially the ones I mentioned in the last video. I did forget to mention Orochis. Orochis is really nice and probably one of my favorites. I know some of you don't like the whole dark and gold color scheme, but I do. If you've got the right colors on your hero, these weapons will go nice with them. They sort of remind me of the fan favorite Apollyon's Legacy event weapons that we received all the way back in Season 5. I think these weapons fit this event really well, and since they're not too over the top, I think a lot of the different pieces will go well with other sets, especially the handles and hilts. Anyways, that's all I've got for this video. I am feeling a little better, don't worry, I'm not really ill or anything, I'm fine now. I am looking forward to this mode being released to everyone because I really want to play it against a bunch of people as we were having fun, you know, just trying out new things that you can't try out if you're not playing in this mode. Plus, all the loot is exclusive to this event, meaning that if you don't get it now, odds are you won't get another chance to grab it. And I've missed out on so many cool things because I didn't play enough of the past events. But in this event, with the free event pass, it's pretty easy to grab a whole lot of it as it gives you so much per tier and luck isn't such a heavy factor anymore but i'll stop there as always i do want to know what you guys think so be sure to talk to me down in the comments about anything we talked about in this video and again thank you to ubisoft for sponsoring this video and letting me have early access and also if you guys want to know anything more about the blades of persia event feel free to click on the link in the description if you like the video feel free to leave a like and sub if you're new and I will talk to you guys in the next video.